He saw several planets and died, beyond the astral journey. Ever thought about embarking on an extraordinary journey beyond imagination? Brace yourself for a captivating story. From surviving a near-death car accident to exploring the astral realm, this narrative takes you on a cosmic adventure. Picture navigating through radiant cones filled with love, meeting evolved beings on distant planets, and gaining profound insights into Earth's destiny. Curious? This brief overview only scratches the surface. Subscribe for a plethora of unimaginable exploits and join the exploration of the astral realm. All right, strap in for this exhilarating journey. So, I shared this anecdote last year, and now, in my extensive revamping of prior narrations, we find ourselves here once again. Brace yourself for a condensed version, because this narrative is so unconventional that pinpointing a starting point feels like attempting to compress myriad pages into one. A few months preceding the pivotal day, peculiar occurrences began to unfold. Picture this sightings of departed souls and auditory hallucinations as I approached slumber but remained in that twilight state. I could expound on this at length, but let's expedite to the fateful day, September 3, 1990, 3.15am, local time. After a car crash in Quebec City, I found myself out of my body, watching the scene unfold. A small fire started in the engine, but things weren't too chaotic. As my friend and I seemed frozen, I thought it was the end, and I mentally prepared to say my goodbyes to family and friends. Suddenly, I found myself in a new day with the ability to time travel, but there's a catch, I can't be seen or heard by anyone. Convinced there must be more riveting pursuits for a spectre like me than pestering the living, I give in, and no tunnel awaits, not akin to those recounted in NDE tales. Instead, I meander into a shadowy realm, surprisingly serene and devoid of terror. My entire existence unfolds like a blockbuster film, from infancy to adult escapades. It resembles a three-dimensional movie, and astonishingly, I can empathize with the emotions people experience dealing with my eccentric self. Positive vibes from me equate to accruing karma points, and the unfavorable actions deduct some, akin to a cosmic bank account but with karma. The more points I'd gather, the richer the world I enter. It's like earning a VIP pass to a kind of heaven, even though I don't fully understand it. There's unmatched peace as I approach a distant light in the darkness. In my everyday life, I'm caught up in details and the pursuit of understanding. But here, surrounding this bright presence like a vast cone, I hear whispers of peace, joy, happiness, love, and eternity. Suddenly, these words become the only focus, wiping out everything else in the entire universe. Quite a journey, don't you think? In a nutshell, the calm atmosphere shifted to one of warmth, but something held me back. A quick self-reflection revealed lingering resentments as the barrier. Realizing forgiveness was the key, I hesitated for a deeper understanding. Finally, at the core, I surrendered, and there was an explosion of affection. The ambience prior to emotion, Beyond comprehension, truly ineffable. I briefly wondered, am I meeting my end? Of course not, I was already beyond recovery. I chuckled and embraced more affection as the guiding light or intelligence had me covered. Considering the potential risks of elevating the love meter, given that it already surpassed any heavenly expectations. More love, please. The sensation intensified, revealing diverse levels within the radiance. Suddenly, I acquired insights into the entire universe just by asking. First question, is there life elsewhere? Absolutely. Second, planets inhabited by highly evolved beings. Thousands of them. Third, planets lagging in evolution, indeed thousands. Fourth, care to showcase an advanced planet. Certainly. In an instant, I found myself on this extraterrestrial terrain, observing my own form. Conversations with the locals were mind-blowing. In the cityscape, amid uniform buildings, we communicated silently through a unique telepathic connection, effortlessly overcoming language barriers. Intrigued by my origins, I shared mental glimpses of stargazing on my home planet. The atmosphere turned positive, and their curiosity shifted to Earth. I spoke of my birthplace and favorite spots, like Kaplan and scuba diving sites in Port Daniel and Newport, Quebec. Through mental images and maps, I painted a vivid picture, and our connection deepened. 
Now, they were curious about our survival energy source, aid food. I spilled the beans about consuming plants and devouring once living entities. To my surprise, they considered us primitive. I turned the question back to them, inquiring about their energy source and interstellar travels. They divulged cosmic power secrets, showcasing a spaceship resembling a wingless plane. A gravity generator facilitated high-speed journeys, with no gravitational concerns for the occupants. Physically, they were of shorter stature, devoid of hair, adorned in a sleek uniform blending with their skin. Mentioning the possibility of an Earth visit, albeit acknowledging the considerable distance, we concluded our conversation, I expressed gratitude for the information, and we parted ways. Afterward, the locals, including law enforcement, report the sighting of an unidentified flying object in Kaplan, Port Daniel, and Newport on the same night. The descriptions align with my experience, resembling a wingless Concorde aircraft, quietly hovering near the ground. The local newspaper covers the story, unfolding over 500 miles away from my usual whereabouts in Montreal a few years after my near-death experience. Quite astonishing, isn't it? Consider this incredible journey I undertook. Picture me, standing on a distant planet, gazing at the stars. I decided to return to my origin, the light. It's astonishing how, after humanity's strenuous efforts to reach the moon, going there now feels like a leisurely stroll and visiting a planet light years away is akin to a casual trip to the neighboring village. In this enlightening experience, I find myself surrounded by light and wonder if I can observe less advanced planets. The answer is affirmative, but the scene of primitive cavemen lacks excitement and communication is impossible. I soon realize that interfering with less evolved worlds is discouraged. There's a protective gap between planets to let them navigate their own evolution, similar to how we do. In the next life, humans are sent to a more advanced planet. Earth has its evolutionary limits, and once reached, the most advanced individual here becomes the least advanced there. Now, contemplating Earth's future. 1. How long will life persist as we know it? Answer. 3586 years. 2. What transpires afterward? Answer. Take a look. I witness a colossal comet or asteroid raking havoc on Earth. Scientists acknowledge it's game over, but there's insufficient time to avert it. I've refrained from specifying exact dates for the near future as it could potentially disrupt our path of evolution. While dropping hints to those born post-1990, I predicted conflicts in the US, starting in New York. Although I didn't specify details like the World Trade Center or the year, it unfolded as 9 elements slash 2001. I foresaw a further impact on the East Coast, especially a northern major city, while the West Coast remained untouched. Armed with this knowledge, I've chosen not to relocate to a large East Coast city, despite tempting job offers. However, being deceased means I can't change anything, even though I had all the dates and times at my disposal. In the climax of global conflicts, Earth faces a perilous situation as significant asteroids go unnoticed due to reduced space research. Despite nations realizing the need for collaboration too late, they unite for peace after substantial loss of life. This tragic scenario is imminent. On a personal journey, I discovered profound beauty and boundless love, creating with a divine force. Initially hesitant to return to Earth, the transformative power of the light changed my perspective. Eager to share revelations, my wish became reality. Expressing this desire, I found myself back in my physical form, ready to convey the extraordinary experience. In that moment, my companion, dressed in radiant white, approached. Instinctively, we lifted our arms to avoid a collision, and as our hands touched, there was a burst of light. Our minds intertwined, allowing for effortless telepathic communication that surpassed the need for words. Despite attempts to speak, we stuck to this new, swift, and emotion-filled exchange. She communicated her choice to remain in the light, concluding her earthly journey. In contrast, I felt the urge to return, holding onto the surreal encounter that transcended the boundaries of the tangible world. As the initial emotions faded, I saw Earth more clearly with its conflicts, greed, anger, and discrimination. Suddenly, I was back in a flaming vehicle, witnessing my friend's lifeless body. I managed to escape just before the fire consumed everything. Later, an autopsy revealed her passing before the accident. 
Strangely, after returning, I healed from broken bones and gained supernatural abilities. Concluding today's narrative, feel free to share your reflections in the comments. Until our next exchange, ensure your well-being and continue pursuing your endeavors.